welcome to the Pathology Cooking Show. In this edition, I've been making scones. When I look at scones, I'm reminded of wide local excisions of breast. In fact, I've prepared a scone specially so one of my colleagues can, can demonstrate how to cut up a wide local excision of breast. And one of the registrars will then demonstrate how to grade it. Okay, wide local excision of breast. So, first step for me is I usually orientate it on, my, on myself because I'm very bad with left and right. So I tend to orientate it on myself. So if we say this is a right breast, I look for the superficial surface, the deep surface, medial, lateral. Um, and then I place it down. And usually I only paint two surfaces. I usually paint the superficial surface with one colour and the deep surface with another colour. I usually use blue and black, but whatever. I often palpate it just to see where the, where the tumour is and then I, um, and usually it's in the middle, the surgeons are aiming to put it in the middle. I'll remove the hook wires and then my first cut is usually straight through the middle. Cutting now. And sometimes I don't completely separate it so it stays together and I usually actually cut it superficial to deep and then I can see my tumour and I can see the whole face of my tumour and then I'll tend, I will start cutting towards the margins and this will be lateral and this will be medial and I look again, often again not quite separating it so it stays together because I'm bad at losing the orientation once I've got it cut up. There's still my tumour and I'm wary of these margins because I've got to, I've really got to demonstrate that the lateral and the medials are 10 millimetres so I don't tend to go much close, I don't go any closer than 10 millimetres to there. So then I cut again. So I'm still see. beautiful tumour. And I do the same on the other side, I tend to go like this. And then turn like this. And then I usually pick where the, the areas that are closest to the margins. So for instance, I will cut, I will now cut it right through because the bulk of the tumour is in the middle. And I've got this slice. Actually, usually take the slice that I want to deal with and cut it right out and then I've got my tumour like this and I obviously I've got the margins I want to demonstrate here I definitely want to demonstrate superficial deeps I want to demonstrate I want to demonstrate this which we'll call inferior and this is superior usually I like to um, have the full face of the tumour so with this one it's a bit awkward this tumour, but I would probably include the tumour and the superior margin there. Uh, in sorry, inferior margin. And I'd, I'd cut through there, and then usually, actually, I'd because it's not the closest. I'd often take these margins off to make a decent, a small block that people can look at. And then obviously this is a bit thick, so I just make it smaller. And then I put that in the block and I tend to mark which way up I want it to go. So that will join. And then this one's a bit trickier. So I want one that will join and I'll often, um, so I take this one and this one I might split. So I got deep and I've got superficial. so good and then mm, the other one I want to um, do is the is the superior margin so usually I've got the superficial and deep so I'm not worried about those margins anymore I'm worried about this margin up here so I'll cut that like that and do that and if I do it properly I can join all these blocks as slides like this whoops join them together when they're all slides and I can measure the microscope because I've got the whole tumour. Sometimes if the tumours, I've got 
bit, bit fragmented. I'll just take a block that really demonstrates perhaps my closest margin and right and the whole width of the tumour. So I might take something like that as well. Okay, so I've covered off uh, media, uh, so inferior, superior, superficial, deep, and then I'll go back to these ones. So this is uh, lateral, and usually I'll just cut right through long like this on lateral. And here. And so I'll end up with a, a lateral block that's at least 10 millimeters from the edge to either tumor or no tumor. Beyond 10, I'm not too phased. So lateral, and then the same with medial. And because I'm only interested actually in the medial margin, if the box too big, I'll actually trim off the deep and superficial, so I don't know. I'm, I just want the medial margin. And for me, that's it. All right. The breast is sectioned. So I have to give it a grade. Let me get a section from the tumor. Okay. There's the right section with blue dye in it. Yes, high grade. Nice, thank you.